for personalized astrology reports and interesting blogs make sure you click on my original and correct website and that's www.vedicoraclebykadamri.com what's up everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video we'll be talking about kritika nakshatra so if you have your ascendant in kritika or you know someone who have this similar kind of placement then do watch this video Now before we dive deeper into this analysis, let's just briefly discuss what is the true meaning of the term nakshatra and yes, what is the significance, the importance of the ascendant nakshatra in our lives, why this nakshatra is the most important nakshatra in your horoscope. See whenever you break this term into two words, nakshatra, naksha means a map or a guide. Tara means a star. So this term nakshatra simply tells you that it's a constellation. It's, it is a map of stars, a certain map of stars which signifies a certain constellation, certain region of stars. And that region of stars holds a important significance. It signifies certain energies. It signifies uh, certain traits. So most importantly, these nakshatras are also known as the lunar constellations because these 27 nakshatras are the wives of planet moon. Now, why we want to consider nakshatras? Why, what is the importance of these nakshatras? See, whenever we are considering a planet replacement in a horoscope, these nakshatras help us to get better predictions. Suppose planet Mercury is in your second house. Now, how to understand the results of this placement? So the Rashi placement of Mercury in the second house will tell you, okay, this native will get these kinds of results from the second house. Now, Rashi is giving you a very precise, defined predictions, right? Now, when you look at the nakshatra placement of Mercury, then it will give you highly defined results, okay, like HD predictions. And we all know that each nakshatra is, is having four subdivisions, four padas. So, when you, whenever you consider the padas of a nakshatra, then you get ultra HD, ultra highly defined predictions. You get very refined and tuned predictions. So yes, nakshatras are the most important concept in astrology. Well, we have been taught again and again to focus on the Janma nakshatra. Well, what is a Janma nakshatra? Well, it's a nakshatra where your natal moon is placed. And yes, this nakshatra holds a very important place in your horoscope. Why? Moon is the karaka of your man emotions, consciousness. This nakshatra can reveal a lot about your character, how your mind works, how your mind reacts to various situations of your life. Okay? But beside this nakshatra, there are two more nakshatras which are equally important. Number one, the ascendant nakshatra. Okay? The nakshatra which is rising in your ascendant. Secondly, it's the uh, your ascendant lord. The nakshatra where your first house lord is placed is again the most important nakshatra. See, the ascendant nakshatra can reveal a lot about your personality traits, your physical traits, how you look, your body built, your physical features your character, okay, your nature, what are your hidden talents, weaknesses, strengths. The Ascendant Nakshatra reveals overall pattern of your life, who you are, what are you made of. 
Whereas your ascendant lord, wherever it's placed, that nakshatra always points towards your purpose. It's like a signboard. Hey, you have to move this way in order to fulfill your desires, in order to achieve. You have to move in that direction. You have to move towards that particular house. So the Ascendant Lord Nakshatra always reveals a lot about your purpose, what you want in life, what, what you will achieve. And the Ascendant Nakshatra and the Moon Nakshatra will help you to reach to that point. So the amalgamation of the results which you get from these three nakshatras will help you to understand yourself much better and how to accomplish your goals. So yes, never ignore these two nakshatras. The Kritika nakshatra falls between 26 degree 40 minutes of Aries to 10 degrees of Taurus. So if you have your ascendant rising in this particular nakshatra, then always Check out the placement of planet Sun because Sun is the ruling planet of this nakshatra. So the placement of planet Sun can reveal a lot about your strengths and weaknesses and how this ascendant is going to work for you. Now firstly, let's talk about the physical traits, the personality traits. See. The ruling uh, deity of this nakshatra is Kartike. Well, Kritika Kartike sounds very similar, right? And there is a very beautiful connection between these two words and we'll discuss this later. Well, Kartike rides on a peacock and we all know that the feathers of peacock are absolutely beautiful because they're so colorful and attractive. And um, even Kartike, God Kartike is known for his beauty. He is uh, either known as the God of war or the God of beauty. So definitely if you have this ascendant, uh, you have amazing, beautiful facial features, especially the eyes. The eyes are so beautiful, attractive and expressive. But... As we know that uh, Kritika has a lot to deal with aggression. This nakshatra has a lot to deal with the war and aggression. So even though you look so pretty, you look so beautiful and attractive, there is um, a kind of arrogance on your face. You might appear arrogant, aggressive or quite tough to the other word. Even though you won't express your anger or arrogance just, you know, to anyone like randomly, but you may appear to be a little aggressive or tough. Secondly, we were talking about the peacock feathers, right? The beauty of the peacock feathers. There is a term called peacocking and literally it means dressing up in a particular fashion, in an attractive fashion which attracts the attention of all the people around you. So uh, the Kritika Ascendant people have a very unique sense of dressing, unique sense of styling, which is absolutely, uh, you know, uh, charming and it attracts a lot of attention from the surroundings. And most importantly, planet Sun is the ruling planet of this nakshatra. So yes, Sun is always the center of attraction. Sun always takes the center stage. So yes, your personality is absolutely attractive, though you look a little bit tough, but yes, you certainly draw the attention of many people. And if you want some styling tips according to your Ascendant Nakshatra, then do check out my blogs. For this, you have to go on my website. The Kritika natives are blessed with great intelligence and sharp intellect. They have amazing grasping powers. So yes, they really take a very less span of time to understand new things, to learn new things. Have you ever observed how does um, an object catches fire? That process of catching fire is so instant. It just happens 
within a fraction of second so that's how are their learning capacity how they really uh, grasp things so easily and also they have a, they have a huge appetite for knowledge they just love to attain knowledge secondly planet sun rules this nakshatra so yes sun over here is giving a very healthy body and vitality to the native people who have their ascended in this nakshatra are quite competitive but kritika nakshatra brings in that competitive spirit and that's why it's associated with wars and battles over here planet sun as well as mars both have a great influence on the native's life planet sun brings in that confidence pride ego ambition and yes a lot of energy positive energy on the other hand mars is also known for its explosive energy so yes it gives energy from there it gives courage aggression it gives passion to focus on whatever you desire so when these two planets come together they greatly influence the life of the native it bring out the positive energy it brings competitive spirit it also brings the desire to move ahead to achieve and move ahead okay to lead to win and that's why these people are quite competitive and the reason for being competitive is that they really want to show the world how how things are done in a right manner okay they are born to teach the world how to perform a particular thing and what is the right way of achieving that thing the term kritika itself relates to sharp objects like a blade or a knife and this sharpness completely defines their actions these natives tend to make rash decisions within an impulse without even thinking they often take rash actions out of aggression out of anger and these kind of decisions can lead them into trouble okay they invite a lot of criticism and troubles because of their um immediate impulsive actions and the most important thing is that see the sharp a sharp instrument is a quite useful thing this nakshatra signifies sharp instruments this nakshatra signifies fire fire and sharp instruments these two things are so important to our civilization okay whatever we are today these kind of things have been useful to us these things made us more civilized the invention of tools sharp tools okay the discovery of fire have helped us but again these two things can be troublesome also so especially in terms of relationships these natives can take quite rash decisions they will immediately cut away their relationships whenever they feel so without even thinking and this is the most worst part about this nakshatra kritika is a rajasic nakshatra and it belongs to the rakshasa gana and that's why this nakshatra give certain negative traits to the native firstly we have discussed we have talked about how people take rash actions and decisions because of their impulsive nature secondly they have a sharp tongue okay they are absolutely quite critical about other people's point of views okay they are always ready for a debate and and they just they have a habit of pointing out things to other people that that is not correct whatever you are doing is not the right manner to do so yes they are super critical about others and um, because of that criticism they can be you know taken as a very egocentric personality a selfish personality on one hand their rash decisions 
actions and yes their sharp tongue can hurt a lot of people on the other hand they have a great sympathy towards the world once they decide to help someone or once they decide to work for a particular noble cause they will completely dedicate their time and energy towards that cause so yes they are quite dedicated to um, helping other people and that's a very beautiful quality of such natives see fire is an amazing element and the most important element it can literally burn away and damage everything which comes in its way on the other hand fire is so useful it generates heat and we need heat to live fire denotes our digestive uh, process we need that digestive process to burn the food and get energy okay fire is used to cook food also so that fire has dual effects one at one point it just damages everything and on the other hand it completely helps us to live this nakshatra is associated with agni dev that is the god of fire and fire literally burns away all sorts of impurities and that's why these people are super super critical because they don't like any sort of imperfection okay imperfections are not for them and that's why they tend to behave in such a way it's completely not their fault why they are critical they're super critical because they don't like imperfections you know there's a process called sterilization in 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 that process you tend to heat superheat an object to get rid of all sorts of microbes and that is what i'm trying to tell you that these people are super critical they are aggressive because they don't like any sort of a flaw or imperfection so the negative trait is also the most positive trait about them the term kritika is so strongly associated with the word kartike well this constellation of kritika is made of seven stars or you can say the seven sisters these seven sisters are the kritikas the seven wives of saptarishis the seven sages now these kritikas these seven women have fostered the son of the eldest son of shiva and parvati and that's why they named him kartikeya the son of seven kritikas now there is something so beautiful about this placement everyone projects you as a very tough person or very aggressive person but they don't know that within you lies a very beautiful personality who just loves to care for other people a very nurturing and nourishing quality a mother like quality but well, everyone believes that pushya nakshatra is all about those motherly qualities but i think kritika also have a lot to do with mother like qualities it's just like a coconut you know they have a very tough exterior but from within their heart to their core they are soft and caring and this this part this aspect of nakshatra indicates that these people really care for other people within their heart and maybe they project that tough exterior just to save themselves okay it, it's like an a shield to protect yourself from other people's actions and views overall kritika is an amazing nakshatra and you are blessed to have your ascendant in this nakshatra because it gives you all those necessary ingredients to succeed in life intelligence number 1 secondly you know how to uh, burn away all sorts of obstacles and illusions coming in your path it gives you a sharp intellect it gives you amazing grasping powers and again most importantly it blesses you with a lot of courage and confidence so yes you have all sorts of ingredients to succeed in life and lead other people too now if you're born in the first pada it just intensifies all that courage and energy because the first pada 
is under the influence of Sun and Mars. But the next three Padas have more of an influence of planet Venus. Planet Sun and Venus don't go well together. So yes, the three Padas which come under the sign of Taurus, well, these people can have some problems in life. It's quite difficult for them to manifest whatever they want. So yes, it can delay success in your life. Lastly, I would like to say about women. The women who have their ascendant in this nakshatra can face um, certain troubles in their life and there is a reason to it. See, if you have this ascendant, it tend to give you a quite aggressive nature, a dominant personality. And even in this modern times, women who have a quite aggressive nature or they are they appear to be egoistic well they are not treated well they are not accepted it's quite difficult and it's quite sad but it's true that women who have a quite aggressive nature are not accepted and admired by the people around so yes women who have this uh, kind of placement can face a lot of troubles in terms of their career and also relationships. See, I'm not telling you to change yourself. Well, whatever you have, show it with pride. You should be a proud person. You are born in this way and you are completely um, made for success. But yes, you can face some troubles. That's for sure. Now, let's talk about the four padas of this nakshatra. The very first pada falls between 26 degree 40 minutes of Aries to 30 degrees of Aries. Well, this pada falls in the Sagittarius Navamsha and is ruled by planet Jupiter. Well, it is one of the most beautiful pada of this nakshatra. So people who are born under the influence of the first pada are born to find the truth. They want to fight for the truth. They really want to fight for the rights of other people. Okay, it gives one absolutely a very courageous personality. The one who can achieve everything, whatever they want. So with this pada, a person can go for professions like military, medicine, surgery. The second pada falls between 1 degree of Taurus to 3 degree 20 minutes of Taurus. And this pada falls in the Capricorn Navamsha ruled by planet Saturn. So over here, this pada intensifies the critical thinking of the native. Their eyes always seek for perfection and balance. And also moon gets exalted over here in this pada. So yes, this pada is also related to mother-like qualities, nurturing, nourishing and caring side of you so yes these people can be a little emotional or sensitive and yes they do have sympathy for other people these people can go for professions related to fashion beauty or music anything which is related to um, like venus creative work the third pada of this nakshatra falls between 3 degree 20 minutes of Taurus to 6 degree 40 minutes of Taurus and it falls in Aquarius Navamsha ruled by planet Saturn. So this pada makes one a humanitarian and it brings in a lot of sympathy for other people. Also, these people just love to explore the secrets, secrets of the occult world. Or maybe you can say that they want to explore all sorts of ancient texts over here. So yes, they can have a profession which is related to um, secrets or government secrets. So it's a quite a good placement for a politician. Last pada of this nakshatra falls between 6 degree 40 minutes of Taurus to 10 degrees of Taurus. It falls in the Pisces Navamsha ruled by planet Jupiter. And it is one of the most beautiful pada of this nakshatra. It is known as the Pushkara pada. Well, people were born under the influence of this pada are absolutely the most cheerful and positive people. They always focus on the brighter side of life. 
no matter how much they are uh, you know surrounded by negative things they always have that spark they just tend to focus on the positive things and yes they just love to explore uh, ancient knowledge they love to learn and uh, they have a very mother like qualities very nourishing qualities so if you are born under this pada then you can be a great teacher or any profession where you have to deal with children lastly i would like to talk about the ruling deity of this nakshatra will god kartike is the ruling deity and he is known as the god of war he is also known as the god of beauty okay he have excelled himself in terms of battles and wars for him it was so easy to just defeat his enemy on the other side he was gentle he was beautiful he know how to talk to other people how to treat them so by asking for his guidance by worshiping him you can use your aggression your courage your inner beauty in a constructive manner okay that your energy is you're blessed with so much of necessary ingredients okay i have told you earlier that you're blessed with a lot of uh, qualities which are quite useful in today's modern world to succeed but how to use those things in a more constructive manner so yes lord kartike can tell you how to focus on your goals and how to reach for those things so you can worship him on the shashti day well you can offer your praise to god kartike on the shashti day which is the sixth day from the new moon where the moon is waxing and that is the best day to offer your prayers to god kartike you can observe fast on these days and it can really help you to find your direction So guys that's all for today's video and if you're really enjoying my videos do put a thumbs up and please do subscribe to my channel till then goodbye take care